have you ever, in all the years you've been working for the Minneapolis Police Department, uh, been trained to kneel on the neck of someone who is handcuffed behind their back in a prone position? No, I haven't. Is that, if that were done, would that be considered force? Absolutely. What level of force might that be? That would be the top tier, the deadly force. Based on your review of the body-worn camera videos of the incident? Yes. And directing your attention you know, to that moment when Mr. Floyd is placed on the ground? Yes. Um, what is your, uh, you know, your view of that use of force during that time period? Totally unnecessary. Pulling him down to the ground, face down, and putting your knee on a neck for that amount of uh, that amount of time is just um, uncalled for. Um, it, I saw no reason why the officers felt they were in danger if that's what they felt, um, and that's what they would have to feel to be able to use that kind of force. Once you handcuff somebody, does that affect the amount of force uh, that you should consider using? Absolutely. How so? Um, once a person is cuffed, um, the, the threat level goes down. And if somebody who is handcuffed um, becomes less combative, does that change the amount of force that an officer is to use under policy? Yes. How so? Um, well, if, if they become less combative, um, you, uh, you may just have them sit down on a curb. 30 years of training with the Minneapolis Police Department and your experience, have you been trained on uh, the prone position? Yes. And what has your training been specific to the prone position? Well, once... Um, once you secure or handcuff a person, um, you need to get them out of the prone position as soon as possible because it restricts their breathing. Once a person is cuffed, uh, you need to turn them on their side or have them sit up. Um, you need to get them off their chest. Why? Because of the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, your muscles are pulling back when you're handcuffed. And if you're laying on your chest, that's constricting your breathing even more.